<laughs> Thank you. Mark DeMeo is here. Now, you, uh, you're a comic who was a cop. Yeah, I was a cop for 20 years. I just retired in June. You got the 20 in, so you must have got in there early then, huh? No, actually, I came on at 25. I'm 45. Oh, really? You look good. I wasn't yeah. the youngest guy in the academy, but... Uh, no, a lot, do, do a lot of guys start at, like, 19, 20? They get the 20 in. You don't need 25 in, in New York. I need 20. Well, my tier was 20. Right. Now they have to do 22, but they can't retire until the 25th, so you're going to stay... No, you can retire at the 22nd, but you can't collect your pension until the 25th. So you're oh, gonna you gotta stay. stay. Yeah. What else are you gonna you do? Gotta get the pension. Yeah. What? Uh, so now, what made you want to do comedy? Just the, you know. I started out acting, and it, it was actually going pretty good. And I got really scared because I thought I, I might have to leave the job. Yeah. Like in one year, I had like I booked like two guest starrings, two commercials, everything really? I went on. I was in shape back then. On what? What stuff? I did uh, this show called Della Ventura with Danny Aiello. Oh, yeah, yeah, And I did this other show called Central Park West, and I was working a lot on As the World Turns. And then I just got nervous because I married a Greek girl, and, like, the only <laughs> thing that, like, I'm not Greek. I'm, I'm Dominican and Czech. Yeah. So technically, I'm, I'm You're spec. You're not Italian? I'm, I'm not, no. Oh. So um, I, I thought, I got really scared. Like, if I leave the job, her family's going to be like, oh, yeah, he was a loser. Oh. So I stayed, <laughs> wow. and I switched to stand up. I just wanted to. I wanted to do it, and 15 years late, I feel. You know what I figured? I figured I'd quit as soon as I became. I, I had to, and 20 years later, I was yeah, eligible but for retirement. But that's not to switch to. It's, it's hard to do stand up. You just made yourself do stand up. No, no, I wanted to come up because you know what? If you're doing acting in New York City, you know as well as I do. I couldn't go to L.A. because I had a family. But if you're doing it in New York, you have to have something. You got to have a one man show, or you got to do something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's I, instead of doing the one man show, I decided to do stand up. Say, look, and I'm not just an actor; I can do this too. And what's there's also a way to make money to stand up. You know, the road is as horrible as road gigs can be. You can at least make money doing them. Well, that's what I'm doing now, and I've been doing that. That's the way every cop has like another job that they do on the side. Yeah. So instead of like being a roofer, right? Right. You were a roofer. Uh, yeah. Your dad was a roofer. My father was. Yeah. Installed uh, antennas and roofs. Every but, guy I work with had something that they did on the side. One guy was an electrician. The other guy was an exterminist. Whatever. I said, if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do something I want to do. The problem my father had was he wasn't a cop. No, no. But you, I remember your father <laughs> he just was a roofer. Did the roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, now my mother used to beg my father. She used to say, look, uh, you know, because a lot of people do what my father did. He basically hung antennas and, and cleaned, you know, gutters and, and did roofing. She used to beg him, get a, get a job in a police department or, or in a fire department for benefits, you mm -hmm. know, and he never did, which is, you know, it's, that's a great combination. You can make more money contracting somehow and then, you know. Well, well, now I get the pension coming in, so I'm good. You know, I can, now I can do stand-up, and, you know, I'm, I'm doing really good in stand-up. Last week, I made 200 bucks, so it's getting better. Where? <laughs> I'm just I just said it like it was good. <laughs> and, uh, because I, I can remember trying to make $200 in a week back when I was... Uh, that, was that was jackpot Rooney. Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> where you, where, where you working? I work most of the clubs in the city. Yeah. Yeah, and, I, and I, you know, I do, the, I do the Jersey thing. Like this, for example, this weekend, I did a benefit for firefighters, oh, yeah. right? And then I'm... Friday and Saturday, I did like a, a Blue Knights. Um, it's a police uh, motorcycle. Are you group. doing all benefits? No, no, I, that's what you get on the weekend. They, they get you know, paid. Yeah, they and pay then I come it? back into the city. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, not benefits. Sometimes you don't pay it. That's why. No, those I'm headlining right now. So those are those they, they pay. So okay. you can do you can do an hour. Absolutely. You got an hour. Good. Yeah, well, that's good. A lot of people no. can. It's hard to do. Well, now, especially because I'm doing a lot of cop material, so I have a whole new thing that I'm... I never could talk about being a cop when I was a cop. I was always scared. You right. Know? Now you can do it. But all. now, I, it's just, all this material is just coming like to me Like stories. Now, so. Yeah, good stories. Like, what kind of stories you got? Um, well, I used to do a knock to get into the apartments, because if you work in... The, I, I worked in the Warren Squad. Right. And uh, the problem was getting into a, apartments. You know, you got to go snatch people out go of the apartments. deliver a warrant, yeah. And cops knock on the door like cops. And what is the rule? You got to hand the person, physically hand them no, the no, warrant. No, 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 not at all. No, you talk. No, no. You're not serving warrants. No, you're not serving warrants. What are you, you doing? You can. If you, you fail to arrest the people. If you fail to go back to court on a felony, the judge issues a warrant for so your you arrest. So you got to go arrest them. Yeah, it's right, fun. Okay, it's right. action. You knock on the doors. <laughs> right. The only problem is getting into these apartments and the projects because they don't answer the door for cops. Every right. cop knocks on the door. Right. The same exact way. Right. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I've heard it a few times. <laughs> Nobody answers the door for that. Right, that's too... Nobody you know, that's family. way too aggressive and official. But I don't know why co every cop knocks on the door like that. Right, See, I was right. smart. <laughs> they should do it. This is the way I did it. And I got into every single apartment I ever tried to get into. <laughs> <laughs> that's great.
could sell, it always worked. You, you could sell them a beef. <laughs> I used to get calls from other teams. Hey, can you uh, send mayo over here with the ghetto knock? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, our first attempt. We'd like to get the mayo over here with the ghetto but knock. What's the, what, uh, but what is the most dangerous situation you ever ran into? There always, you know what? You don't even think about it like that. I mean, sometimes after you get done with something, you're like, wow, that was pretty dangerous. Yeah. Mm. But it's action, but in so the it's moment, fun. In a moment, you're like... You don't I mean, think you know, about you it. You don't think about it. I mean, it's exactly what you want to do if you're a guy. You're out there running around. You know, you got a gun. You're snatching you're people. You're body snatches. To have a gun. Yeah, you have a gun. You have a <laughs> vest. I never really wore my vest. I'll be honest with you. A lot of guys don't. Why? Well, it's just because it's you're working in Harlem. It's 95 degrees. You're like, you know it's what? Shoot lot. me. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not wearing my vest. <laughs> I'm not wearing. It for what? 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 The, you ever have to fire your gun? You know what? I hate saying no because then you just become like so boring. No, that's not true. No, but people I mean, if you get it that, out and start going, freezer, I'll shoot. That's pretty exciting to me. I mean, it, I'll but take people, that. People don't ask you that. They ask you, do you ever shoot anybody? And as soon as you say no, they just walk away. Like, right. They're just like bored They with want you. a story. You know what I say now? Yeah. I say, um, I'd rather not talk about it if that's okay. <laughs> that's perfect. And then they usually that's like, perfect. did I touch a nerve? I'm like, can we just switch subjects? That's perfect. And then like all of a sudden, I just became the most fascinating person in the room. No, you know it what is. I'm saying? I, listen, that, that would win in any room I'm in. <laughs> Brent, what about this? Are you aware of the ghetto knock, Brent? You're not, aware? Never, never aware of the ghetto knock. <laughs> but I, girls love cops, don't they? Like, oh, did yeah. you find when you were a cop? Cops or, get a lot of women. Yeah. Uh, cops do, okay. It, the uniform is called a blue magnet, by the way. That's right. <laughs> the blue magnet. We know what we know that's a magnet for. Yeah. No, of course. Healthcare and dental. <laughs> Minorities. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You work in, that's where you work in the neighborhood. Every white guy from Long Island somehow marries... A beautiful Puerto Rican girl. Oh, yeah. So, so what Long happened Island. when you married? You still married? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So, so now this, this Greek girl, is she okay with your a career now? She was okay with it. We're married uh, 23 years. We've been together 26. She doesn't care what I do. Right. You got yeah. kids? My what? Uh, yeah, I have two kids, 16 and 13. She's, just, she's a good-looking girl, my wife. Right. I'm sure she, she is. She still looks sure. good. The other day I was watching her walk around the house, you yeah. know, and I was like, wow, I wish I could have sex with her. <laughs> <laughs> That's how good she looks. <laughs> yeah, what is that? There's that line, there's a great line. Uh, somebody said, I heard somebody say in an AA meeting, um, they said once, well, you know, I love my wife. You know how much I love my wife? <laughs> I'm thinking about telling her. <laughs> <laughs> it is hard. But it, see, but you, you see, you, you did the cop thing and now show business, being a, a committed relationship. I'm a comic. I'm not in show business. You no, know what I'm saying? You know, it's, 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 it's hard to be married and have kids doing those two things. A cop is hard enough, but then becoming a comic, man. But you're like... You're picking the two things. That, like, I, I've rarely made a... a the longest I've got through a relationship being a comedian is a, a, a rough three and a half years. But before, besides that, was like six months. You know? My, I've been with her since I'm 18. She's been with through every single every single phase that I've ever been through. The comic thing is the, the one that lasts the longest. I've been doing this for 15 years, so I think now she's starting to think, "Wow, he might like this. He's probably serious about it." Do you do the road like where you got to take a plane, no. or you just do? You no, just no I'll do a, uh, I'll do like a one or two night thing, but I don't like to go away for a week or anything like that because my kids are like my son plays baseball. Right. He plays for Cardoza, so I like to be there to watch the games. What do you like? What do you like? What is your goal? What do you want to do? You want to you want to get on a sitcom? You want to have your own? Sitcom? I'm working on this one man show right now, and I'm hoping that it's about it's called Twenty and Out, and it's about my twenty years as a cop. And I'm hoping that's going to open up some doors because you know you get the chance to act in a little bit, you get a chance to be funny. Plus, I wrote it. Right. So I'm hoping that I don't, I'll take anything right now. I just need a little never, bit more money, just I, a tiny bit I never, more. I never did the one man show thing. I always, I always got up enough stand up material to do like uh, an hour, you know, special or something. Or, and and uh, and I'm like, some agents are like, well, if you you put a little drama in that and uh, just don't hold a microphone. <laughs> You could call it a one-man show. You just go, look, you had one scene where you're crying over your old man or something. I got you, that scene. You don't hold the mic, and you tell jokes. You, you do a couple of characters, maybe an impression, and you go, ah, it's a one-man show. And you're right, it's one-stop shop, and they go, this guy can write, he can act, he can do stand-up, it's everything. I don't need much. I just need a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just but a but little don't you think when you more. get to a little bit more, you're going to want more? I don't, you know what? I don't care, really. Just as long as I have enough money. That's what like... happened to me, man. I, I started out going... Uh, when I was 21 years old, I made 60 grand at the port unloading ships at the orange juice pier. I was a longshoreman in Newark. I did that for two years. And the first year, I made 55 Gs. The second year, I made a little over 60. I made 62 grand. And I remember it was Christmas time, and I gave my mother like $3,000 for Christmas. 
And I said, Ma, you know, I, I can help out with this job and everything, but um, I don't like doing this. You know, I'm unloading ships and I want to do comedy. And I said to myself, all I got to do is, if I quit this job, all I got to do is make 62 grand a year in comedy somehow. <laughs> and then I'm a win, because I'm doing what I want to do, yeah. but and I'm making the same amount as if I didn't quit my regular job. Yeah. I just got to make 62 Gs a year. And the first year I made 60 grand in comedy, mm. Uh, I was like, this is horrible. I got to make way more money. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> because you start hanging out with people who make you know, a million. And then you hang out with people who like created a show or something. And you look at their life and you hang out with them. And it just, it's, it's, it's human nature. You're going to want more. I, no, I get you. I, I, you, probably, you might be right. I remember one time I, would, thing, I did though. a show that's with a Bobby thing. Lee. And yeah. we were backstage. I did comics with him. And he was telling me... Uh, Wait till you're famous. And I was like, I don't really care about that. He goes, no, 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 no. Wait till you're famous. Yeah. You're going to want, you're <laughs> so, gonna want, you're gonna want uh, more of everything. That's just, what happens. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not trying to discourage uh, you. You should do it. But uh, you, the way I'm you're going for it, you yeah. know, but it, I just want to pay for the kid's college. That's it. I'm good. Well, Make so, them happy. Why not buy him a college? That's, that's my point. <laughs>